All right, guys, live from Greenville, South Carolina. I'm here with Eric, and we're at the Heart event. What has Heart got us here for? To show off some cool tools, and especially some new OPE stuff. Part of the 40 volt line. Yes, you guys, Heart exploded on the scene a year or two ago, and they've kind of been turning heads. Uh, they're a very uh, popular item now, and they have everything from the entry level items all the way up to your higher end uh, item for Walmart, right? What's so good about it being at Walmart? You got good, uh, it's a good store to buy from, obviously. Good, yeah, you got a huge assortment. Some of the stores are 24 hours, so you can go get it what you want to. Walmart's basically in every city, almost in right. America, you know? And this is actually a, a real line of tools, you guys. It's not just some no-name line. It's a brand with a line. It has 20, 40 power tools, yeah. which we're gonna go show you right now. So let's go check it out. So Hart invited us out to this event to look at their latest lineup there. What did you think of the stuff? I love the fact that they got the riding mower, but the push mower is what actually I thought was impressive. I love the fact that it didn't bog down. We went through that thick grass. It was consistent, but I really like the actual handles. They're kind of like a square handle. It doesn't seem cheap. Yeah. And I was really impressed by that. And then you got to actually check yeah, out the rider Yeah, I got to check mower. out the riding mowers. And uh, honestly, I got to say, they're high quality. You know, a lot of these electric riding mowers that have come out recently are Radley, right? Yes. Because all lawnmowers are technically Radley. You just don't hear it over the gas engine. So they've done a really good job at putting, like, rubber where it needs to be. And there's zero rattling on this unit. The steering wheel feels like a race car steering wheel. Like, I'd love to have it on my golf cart. Mm -hmm. And uh, they did have this thing called, uh, it was like some feature of an air blower that blows yes. into the bag. Yep. You know? I mean, I told them I'd probably rather see that whole motor thing removed because I feel like you could hit it and put a blower in there, a blower for it, to just use a regular blower, you know? Yeah. To blow it up in there. Okay. But it's still a cool feature. I, I think it's a cool feature. Yeah, I think they have one without it. I, I'd probably with not go with that feature. But other than that, I thought this was a great little riding mower, especially for your smaller lawn, especially to get through that 55-inch gate range. Um, yeah. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah, what else did we check out? Chainsaws. Chainsaws. What do you think about those? Chainsaws are very cool, you guys. As with Hart, they didn't disappoint. They always have powerful chainsaws, right? They have your whole lineup. One thing they did show us this year was a smaller chainsaw that doesn't use any oil, which, which is, is crazy. Which is crazy, yeah. yeah. That is, that's and it's insane. just a super small one for small branches, go around the yard, do your spring cleanup. And I think that one's gonna be a huge hit this year. I thought the big bad boy one, man, that that one, that had some power cutting through some water. Yeah. I like that thing. Heart, that you know, surprised me. Heart's definitely not lagging in the power area. Yeah. For sure. Now, hedge trimmers is kind of, we saw hedge trimmers. Yeah. What do you think of those? Because you use those a lot. You got a lot of bushes around. So what did you like about them or not? Uh, or what I liked about them was the rotating handle. So on cool one feature. of the trimmers, or think both of them, you were able to rotate the handle, I think, 360 degrees. And I mean, there's nothing, you know, like holding one of those arms out, trying to cut something up high and your arms are contorted, right? Yes. It really puts a strain on your wrist. It could damage your wrist. In fact, I feel like I have uh, wrist damage from that from that very thing. So I think that that would help. Uh, just a really cool, powerful trimmer. Very cool, man. We very did head cool. trimmers too. What do you think? Or did we, that's string what we, trimmers. String trimmers. I really like that three-in-one string trimmer. I thought that was actually, it's a cool concept where you can actually mold a little piece of grass with it. You can edge and then you can um, uh, trim. Yeah, you know? yeah, very cool stuff, you guys. And we put it on Instagram. A lot of people are like, why would you use something that small? A lot of people only have these driveway strips. Yeah. Or these small. Eric has a driveway strip. It's, I do. It's crazy. And I know there's people downtown who live in big city, Chicago, New York, LA, where they've got just a little bit of grass. And it's like, okay, why am I going to have this lawnmower, a big lawnmower, when it. I don't need that. Yeah. This is a nice little kind of substitution. No, it's not for everybody. Yeah, but, but there it's is cordless that, you know, for you know, mom, grandma, yeah. grandpa, you know, the older persons, people with the small lots. I mean, it's a perfect little mower for them. It's lightweight, just hangs on your wall. Really good stuff there. And then I like the trimmer where you just kick it with your foot and it turns to a 90 degrees. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. That, yes. It worked a lot better than I thought it would. Yes. Um, last but not least, you guys, we got to check out the auger. Uh, auger uh, I can't even say Auger. It. Auger. Yes. The augers. What do yes. you think of the augers? You know, the one thing that actually caught my attention with the auger, auger is a very niche thing and not everyone's going to use it. But to me, when they came out with an auger, I'm like, okay, they're serious about this whole heart line because if they're going to come out with niche products, that's kind of cool. So I like that. 
auger is not something I would buy. I get like if you live in the country and you're like, hey, I'm going to be planting trees. It's good for planting trees. Um, ice fishing. There's certain people who are going to use it. They're going to need something like that. It's nice. Now, if you're going to go put up one fence, you're going to probably go rent something as opposed to buy because right. you're not going to use it that much. But for some of these people who use an auger a couple times a year, it's worth it. Right. And even, you know, for planting, you know, you can, that auger can do a pretty big hole, like a 12 inch hole or something. Yeah. You, you, can, you can put a big plant, plant in there yeah. deep in there, a tree. Yeah. Um, and the good thing about it is it's got that torque system where if it does torque down on you, it's not going to spin you around. It's not going to rip your elbows off, That's your nice. arms off. It just stops, which is good. Uh, two speeds, a high and a low. I noticed that definitely on the low power through things, higher speed was for like really lighter dirt. Maybe ice. Yeah. Uh, we haven't checked it out on ice, obviously, because we were in Greenville or Florida. Greenville. Yes. Um, but So, overall, what do you think of the whole... Honestly, I think Hart, I was seeing some amazing innovation that I would like to see in other uh, products from the same company, you know? I think that uh, they're just really starting to move and say, hey... We're getting serious in this industry, and we're going to show you guys that we got some pretty competitive items with other stuff that's available at other big box stores online. Um, like I said, I've always been a fan of Heart since the beginning when they came out. You know, they're not vying to be the cheapest brand out there, but they're vying to be a good value available at Walmart, and I think they're doing that. They're offering, you know, good quality tools. I mean, I have not broken one yet. Have you? No. Mm -mm. No. No. So, and we used that table we had, and it didn't break, and... You know, it's just good tools for the money, you know? Yeah. Granted, every company has, you know, 90% good tools, 10% that are, like, meh. But the same situation here. Most of everything we've ever tested has just been pretty awesome. You know? So, good stuff, you guys. Check it out. Like and subscribe. Peace. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.